Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. It's 515 here on this Wednesday morning and this is a look out of our Emporia camera. You can see we've got a lot of snow on the ground across the area today and that's probably not going to change anytime soon. We may get above freezing today and tomorrow, but that's probably not going to melt off everything and then we're going to have more chances for snow with much colder temperatures. So we're right at 18 degrees now in Topeka. Feeling like 11 though with our winds out of the south at 5 miles per hour. And those southerly winds will continue for us today before kind of trying to shift around towards the west. But for now, they're about 5 to 15 miles per hour across the area. So all of our wind chills are in the single digits this morning. Morning. It does feel pretty frigid outside, but this is relatively warm compared to what we're going to feel like come this weekend. So our winds are going to be about 10 to 15 miles per hour sustained today, which would give us some wind gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour uh, through this afternoon before relaxing a bit tonight. Eventually becoming calm by early tomorrow, but that's another recipe for some cold temperatures with our snow still on the ground. So right now we're starting out in the teens to near 20, 20 degrees currently in Concordia, 16 at Clay Center, 18 degrees in Marysville, just 12 though in Manhattan, 13 at Burlington and Lawrence checking in at 15 right now. Later on this afternoon, we'll likely climb up into the middle 30s. Should see some areas of clouds, though, moving through at times today, increasing through the night as we drop back into the teens again. And we'll have mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow. Chances for snow increase, though, later on in the evening, and especially throughout the overnight. And then we've got that big push of cold air coming our way with this system, too. So our satellite and radar picking up on just a few clouds moving through this morning. Otherwise, that'll be kind of the case today where we're expecting partly to mostly sunny skies. A couple little waves of energy here. This one, this little tiny dip in the jet stream that's heading our way for tomorrow, providing our cloud cover. But the one that's going to give us our snow is coming in off the west coast, and we'll see that arriving late Thursday and into Friday. Pretty active, cold weather pattern setting up for us. So Wednesday, our feature track starts this morning at 7. We'll see mostly to partly sunny skies at times. Eventually, increasing clouds later on this evening, and then future track brings in that snow late Thursday night uh, into early Friday morning. The highest Chances for um, higher accumulations will be in our far northern counties here with this one. Uh, even though this model is bringing us a bit more snow, it looks like for a lot of the area, I think we could all see at least a little bit of snowfall with this. It's going to be fairly light in nature with that really cold, dry air coming in from the north and west. So as we go throughout the afternoon on Friday, this should start to taper off and eventually scooch on out of here. And this is current thinking. This is uh, our initial snowfall forecast here with this one. In the pink shaded area, about three to maybe five inches, the higher snowfall totals with this one look to be up in Nebraska. Could see maybe one to three at the highest uh, right through the center part of northeast Kansas, including Topeka, Lawrence, Manhattan as well, and maybe upwards of one inch the further south and east that you get. So the higher totals with this one definitely will be up north this time. But with our snow already on the ground, tacking on just a little bit more, it was definitely expected by the time we get to Friday afternoon. I was talking about those really cold winds too, so wind chills on Friday, definitely an issue as well. Could see those gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour. Wind chills through the day, maybe 5 to minus, minus 5 to minus 15 for what it feels like outside on Friday. Early Saturday morning, we could be waking up with those wind chills, minus 20, maybe even as low as minus 25 at times. And we're really not going to improve all that much from here. In fact, we do get colder heading into Sunday and Monday with yet another system and another reinforcing shot of that Arctic air heading our way for Sunday and Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday. Single digit highs expected for both of those days, overnight lows sub zero, and that's just our air temperatures, but it does look like we get a little bit of a break for, for our systems coming up for Monday and Tuesday.